Hey, George here. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I want to show you how to play Bob Dylan's The Times They Are a Changing on guitar and harmonica. I'll go through all of the guitar chords and the guitar parts and the, the rhythm, the strumming, the time signature, a little different on this one. So we'll go through that. We'll pick out a harmonica and we'll go through all of these different parts that Bob plays. And uh, funny thing is, you know, I'm sure that, you know, how this is played on the, on the recording, you know, he never played it this way ever again, but we'll go through what's on the recording or a, a close facsimile. Okay. Right on. So the times they are changing is in the key of G. So we're going to play in first position. We'll be using a G harmonica. But let's look at the guitar chords first. Okay. So we're in the key of G. So we've got a G. Then we've got an E minor, then C, and then it comes back to G. So that's the first line. The next line would go G, A minor, C, and then D. The third line of the verse would go G, E minor, C, G, that's the same as the first line. Then the fourth line of the verse would go G, A minor, and then to D. So that's a little bit different than the second line. So the first and third lines are the same. The second line is G, A minor, C to D, and the fourth line is gonna be G, A minor to D. So it's dropping out the C in that fourth line. Now, the fifth line here, we start off on a D, and then we go to a C add nine. And then we go to a G with B in the bass, and then D. So that C add nine, it's like the G, but you take these two fingers and you drop them down a string. And the G, the G with B in the bass is you take your middle finger off and you take your first finger and stick that on the fifth string. So it's C add nine, G in the bass, and then D, and we'll play it with A in the bass. So we have this little running bass line. So we start off with D, playing the D, and then we play the C, and then the G with the B in the bass, and then the D with the A in the bass. And then the final line for the times they are changing, we play G, C, D, to G. Okay, now that's usually what he plays. Sometimes he mixes it up a little bit. Uh, for instance, uh, in the first time through on this times they are changing, he doesn't put C in that last line. So you go, times they are a changing. He just goes straight to D. At least that's what it sounds like. But uh, every other time, I think he puts the C in there. <laughs> like I said, he played it this way when he recorded it, but I bet you he never played it this way ever again. Okay, so the time signature, this is a little different. We're in 3-4 time. So it's not our typical rock song in 4-4 four, four time. We're 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so let's just uh, let's show how this goes here. Uh, first verse, come gather around people wherever you roam. So each one of these bars is getting three beats. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we can play it, you can play the whole chord on each beat. If you can do that, no problem. Then let's put in some bass notes. So let's play a bass note on the first beat. So come again, play G, two, three, E, two, three, C, two, three, G. Right? Second line would be A, there's a C, D. Right? So we're playing, playing a bass note. 
one, the downbeats, each of these downbeats. And that's why we get in that, in that uh, second to last line uh, where we're doing this D, D, C, D, C. So that always, that sounds great when we put those bass notes in, and that's what he's doing. <clears throat> now, the rhythm, this one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. A lot of the times he'll put in a, an upstroke on the offbeat. So it's one, two, and three, and, or one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, and three, and. I mean, I don't think there's any regular pattern to what he's doing on this. So, you know, I won't really probably have any regular pattern to what I'm doing on this either. This is, So we can just do straight quarter notes, one, two, three, one, two, three. Or we can put in a little bit of elaboration, put in some upstrokes there when it, when it hits your fancy. Okay? So <clears throat> that's really uh, all there is to, uh, to the guitar part. Now after each verse, he puts in a little fill with the harmonica, and the, each time the chord progression's a little bit different. Right, so every time in between each verse, the chord progression changes up a little bit. He's got the same a couple of times, but you know, I think we got like three different chord changes that happen in between these each of these verses. So when we go through the harmonica part, because that affects the harmonica part, we'll go through these different changes. Okay, so like I said, we got a G harmonica in. So we're in the key of G, G harmonica playing in first position. And let's uh, let's slowly go through some of this. And uh, when we get to in between each one of these verses, we'll go through the chords and the harmonica part. Okay, so let's take your slow. Come gather around people wherever you roam And admit that the waters around you have grown And accept it that soon you'll be drenched to the bone Then you'd better stop swimming or you'd sink like a stone For the times they are a changing So, that first line, times they are changing, I didn't put the C in there But I will in every other time Times they are a changing So this first verse, after the first verse, our fill is going to do G, E minor C, G. So he does that after this verse, and he also does it, uh, I think, on the end of the last verse. Now, the harmonica part is, uh, you know, Bob's uh, not playing this cleanly at all. He's not playing single notes. It's a lot of... Right? And that's, that's basically the line for this one. So it's a blow 6-7. Draw 6-7. Blow six seven. Do it again. And again. So with the chords. So each one of those, the rhythm is the same, except for the last one, he anticipates the change to the G a little bit. So if we're on the G, the first G, we get to the A minor, we do the same when we go to the C. Then when we're going to go to the G, we anticipate it. We'll do the draw six, draw seven just before we hit the G. So when we hit the G, we're playing the six, seven. And when I tell my students when I, when we're learning songs and melodies and stuff, I say, you want to avoid this draw six, draw seven, because, you know, there's only a major second between there. There's a lot of dissonance, but Bob loves it. He does it all the time, so. Okay, next verse. Come writers and critics, prophesize with your pen. And keep your eyes wide, the chance won't come again. And don't speak too soon, for the wheel's still in spin. And this 
no telling who that it's naming For the loser now will be later to win For the times they are a-changing See, in that, that line I did put in the C. The times they are a-changing Okay, now we're into the... After the second verse, we do... Um, the same as after the first verse, we'll start with that G to E minor to C to G. Then we'll do our our D uh, and our you know our walking bass line down. So it's D D to C add nine to G with B in the bass to D. Okay, so the chords for that are going to be G E minor. Okay, so now we'll put in the harmonica. So a harmonica part is very similar to the first one, the first part, right? Because we got the same chords, so it's a very similar thing. Uh, and I think he might have been trying to play the same thing, but I think it gets a little bit lower on the start and a little higher at the end. <laughs> Right, we end up at a, like a blow seven, blow eight, rather than a blow six, seven. And we probably start at a blow five, six. Then at the, the D, we're gonna be way up on our blow nine. So let's go, let's get to there. the D. So there's a bunch of a bunch of blow nines. When we get to this G on with B in the bass, we're going to go to a draw nine or a draw ten actually. So draw a ten, blow nine, draw a nine. Let's do that again. Let's put that all together. And then just before he goes into the verse, he does a, a little draw nine, draw eight. Says, right? It's kind of hard to explain all of this <laughs> because he's not playing single notes and it's, you know, so don't worry about playing single notes on any of this. <laughs> Let's do that one more time. And then we're into the next verse. Come, sinners, congressmen, please heed the call. Don't stand in the doorway, don't block up the hall. For he that gets hurt will be he who has stopped. Banner outside raging will soon shake your windows and rattle your walls for the time. Okay, now to this third verse here. We got a different progression altogether. It's a short one. It starts in G, goes to D, C, D, G. Right, so this is not following what the other ones do. This is a, again, G, D, C, D. So we start with a couple 
fold below six sevenths. Draw seven, draw eight, low seven, blow eight. On the D there, then we come to the C. That's a blow nine, draw ten. Draw nine, draw eight, blow seven, blow eight, or some semblance of that. All right, that's that's a hard one because there's really no, the chord progression is different and and uh, and it's short and it's five five chords and you know it's a, it's just an odd little change, so hard to get that in your head. <laughs> All right, uh, if you've got the album, have a listen. <laughs> okay, let's do the next one. Go mothers and fathers throughout the land And don't criticize what you can't understand Your sons and your daughters are beyond your command Your own road is rapidly aging Please get out of the new one if you can't lend your hand For the times they are a-changing Okay, so this, after this verse, we have our... Um, this is actually the same, uh, almost the same as after the second one. So we'll start off with our G, E minor, C to G. And then we'll do our D in our walk down. And then we'll do times they are changing. So G, C, D, and G. Right, so getting a little bit more complex here. We've got the whole, uh, a lot, like almost three sections, right? minor C G D C at nine G with B in the bass D with A in the bass then the G C D G okay so we got three kind of sections to that so we'll break it down the first section is going to be just like so we got the G E minor C G this is going to be just like after the first verse <laughs> C or this D walk down is going to be um, uh, just like the second part of the uh, after the second verse. Um, so blow nine. I think there's about six of those before we come up to the blow ten. Again, that draw 10, it's not below 10, it's a draw 10, and that's with when we get to G and B on the bass. We're gonna draw a nine, blow nine, so a bunch of blow nines, a draw 10, blow nine, draw nine, blow nine. So that blow nine lands when we hit the D again. Okay, then we're going to G. So that's a blow eight. Draw nine, blow nine, blow ten. I'm blowing mostly single notes there, but of course we're not looking for single notes, so we don't have to worry about that. Blow eight, draw nine, blow nine, blow ten. Then it's a blow nine, draw nine, blow eight. Right, so we're just kind of making the melody here. So that's blow nine, draw nine, blow eight, draw eight. And it does a blow eight, draw eight, blow seven. And with 
with it. Loose and chordy. Oh, some chords. thing together. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's kind of like here. Let's try that one more time. And the last verse. The line it is drawn, the curse it is cast. The slow one now will later be fast, as the present now will later be past. The order is rapidly fading, and the first one now will later be last for the time. chords at the end of this one are the G, E minor, C, G. And on my recording, it just does that. And then it fades out. And that, uh, that's a blow six, seven, draw six, seven. Okay, so there's the entire thing. <laughs> Bob Dylan's times, they are a-changing. We've got... Um, the chords are, are, are pretty uh, are pretty easy. We've got some interesting chords, you know, we've got this C add nine, you know, and, and if you're, you know, learning lots of songs and stuff, you'll have seen this before. This is a, you know, this is kind of a common chord, common C, easy to change from G to C here. And if you're new to that chord, then you'll be using that more. So that's, a, that's good to know. And we get this B in the bass, G with B in the bass. D, D in the bass, so that's a neat little walk down. Uh, otherwise, you know, our, our, our chords are pretty standard. G, E minor, C, A minor. So that's that's a great little lick, great little walk down that D down to the, you know, using the C add nine, the G with B in the bass. That's used in other places too. Uh, harmonica, G harmonica, playing in first position, playing it nice and loose. We don't have to worry about single notes on any of this. We don't even have to worry about this draw six, draw seven clash because he uses it to great advantage. Um, so, I, you know, I recommend uh, having a listen to, to, the, to the vinyl or your recording uh, to get uh, what's going on with those uh, harmonica solos. But it's, uh, you know, I think I've uh, stayed pretty close to what he's doing there. And like I said, I guarantee he never plays it the same way twice. He'll never play it that way again. Um, Oh, one other thing I'd like to do here is I've got the tabs just straight for a melody, right? So we're just going to play the melody here. So if you don't want to go through all of these things, because, you know, you might have your own arrangement, which I encourage you come up with your own arrangement. Um, you know, how he's got these different chords in between each one of these verses. You know, you don't have to do that. Right? You don't have to put in all of the stuff, you know, harmonica solos that Bob puts in either. So... I just wanted to go through the harmonica tabs that are just straight melody.
Okay? So that's going to be straight fours, low fours on this G. Get to the C, we're going to do a draw four. Blow four, draw four. We get to the back to the G, it's blow five. Then we're going to come up to a blow six. Draw five, blow five. Ah, uh, hold on. Draw four when we get to the C. Stay on that draw four, even on the D. So that's blow six. Down to a blow four. Draw four on that C. So that's a draw four, blow four, draw four. Blow five on that G. Up to a blow six. So that's just a blow six, draw five, blow five, draw four. Now on our little D walk down, we just stay on a blow six. Then we do a little blow five, draw five, blow six. So it's a draw, blow five, draw five, blow six. So we're up. And then we're just going to walk down to a blow four, six. Draw five, blow five, draw four, blow four. So it's all you know, sticking around the the four fives and sixes. And if you want to play with lots of chords, that'll sound fine too. Bob Dylan's Times They Are Changing. Great old song, in 3-4 time, using a G harmonica in first position and, uh, and having some fun with that. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. So uh, peace, stay in tune, see you in the next one.